In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 29, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. New York Knicks vs. Detroit Pistons New York will try to bounce back from a two-game losing streak when it travels to Detroit on Tuesday night. The Knicks have lost four of their last five games, including a 127-123 setback against Memphis on Sunday. Detroit is on a two-game losing streak and is coming off a 102-94 loss to Cleveland. Looking at the betting trends, the Knicks are 16-6 against the spread in their last 22 road games, 0-5-1 against the spread in their last six games against a team with a losing record, and 1-4 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Pistons are 4-1-1 against the spread in their last six games, following a loss and 4-0-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 4-1 in the last five meetings in Detroit. The Knicks are 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings in Detroit and the Knicks are 8-1-1 against the spread in the last 10 meetings overall. The Knicks could be shorthanded here as they are keeping an eye on Emmanuel quickly who is questionable for this one. While the Pistons have listed Isaiah Stewart, Marvin Bagley, Bajan Bogdanovich and Jadon Ivey as questionable, the Detroit Pistons have been the worst team in the Eastern Conference through 22 games, only winning five and looking non-competitive on most nights. They have been getting shredded on the defensive end, and their injuries have a lot to do with it. Entering this matchup with the Knicks, they are allowing 117 points per game on 48% shooting. Although they played an inspiring game against the Cavaliers without most of their starting lineup, they are a completely different club without Cade Cunningham. He is expected to miss this game against New York, and that will result in another big loss for the young Pistons. They have lost 10 consecutive games facing Eastern Conference foes. Plus, the Knicks are 16-6 against the spread in their last 22 road games and 8-1-1 against the spread in the last 10 meetings. So the New York Knicks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Knicks come into this matchup ranked 11th in pace. They typically play at a lower tempo, but the addition of Jalen Brunson this offseason has turned their offense around. They are averaging 114 points per game, which is good for 13th, but they have been horrible from beyond the arc. Entering this game, they have the lowest three-point field goal percentage in the NBA. Further, they have struggled shooting the ball on the road, and the total number has gone under in seven of their last eight games away from Madison Square Garden. This looks like an ugly game, especially with the injuries on the Detroit side. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Golden State Warriors vs. Dallas Mavericks The NBA betting action goes on Tuesday, November 29, 2022 with the Marquee Western Conference showdown from American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. The Golden State Warriors and Dallas Mavericks start their three-game regular season series. Golden State is without Andre Iguodala. Dallas, on the other side, is coming in full strength. The Golden State Warriors have been in fine form as they've won eight of their last 11 games overall, and they will be aiming for a fourth straight victory after routing the Timberwolves in a 137-114 road win on Sunday. Stephen Curry led the team with 25 points, 11 rebounds and 8 assists. Jordan Poole added 24 points and 6 assists off the bench. Clay Thompson added 21 points while Draymond Green tallied 19 points and 11 assists on 6 of 7 shooting. As a team, the Warriors shot a sizzling 57% from the field and 20 of 47 from the three-point line as they stormed out of the gates with 47 points in the first quarter to open an early 28-point lead which allowed them to cruise in the second half. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks have been in a slump as they've lost five of their last six games overall and they will be hoping to snap a four-game skid after getting stopped by the Bucks in a 124-115 road loss on Sunday. Luka Doncic led the team with 27 points and 12 assists on 10 of 20 shooting. Spencer Dinwiddie added 22 points while Christian Wood chipped in with 21 points off the bench. As a team, the Mavericks shot 51% from the field and 17 of 41 from the three-point line but they let themselves down 
on the defensive end once again, allowing the Bucks to pour in 73 points in the first half to trail by as many as 19 points, which proved too much to overcome in the end. As they manage just 19 points in the fourth quarter, the Warriors are 2-9 against the spread in their last 11 road games and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games playing on one day's rest. The Mavericks are 1-8-1 against the spread in their last 10 home games and 7-19-1 against the spread in their last 27 games overall. The over is 4-1 in Warriors' last five overall. The under is 36-16 in Mavericks' last 52 home games. The Warriors are 3-7 against the spread in the last 10 meetings in Dallas and 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings. The Golden State Warriors are playing the better ball right now, and the Mavericks don't look good, to say the least. However, the Mavericks are due for a bounce-back performance, and the Warriors have had issues on the road this season, where they lose by an average of nine points. Big game in a spot where the Mavericks have shown up in the past. Additionally, these two teams are pretty evenly matched statistically. The Warriors have also struggled on the road, so the Dallas Mavericks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. This is the clash between a couple of completely different styles. While the Warriors play at the fastest pace in the league, the Mavericks record the fewest possessions per 48 minutes. The Mavericks will try everything they can to slow the tempo down and force the Warriors into half-court basketball. Dallas will also play better defense than it did against Milwaukee last Sunday. The Mavericks have allowed 105 or fewer points in five of their previous seven outings at any location. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Portland Trail Blazers This Tuesday, the Los Angeles Clippers will travel to Portland or to take on the Portland Trail Blazers. Tip-off will be inside the Moda Center. These two teams have had similar starts to the season, but the last time they matched up, the Clippers walked away with a 102-90 win. The Los Angeles Clippers are entering this game after taking down the Indiana Pacers, 114-100. The Clippers looked incredible on the defensive end of the court, as they will have to carry that momentum over into this game if they want to challenge the Trail Blazers on the road. Portland is coming into this one after falling to the Brooklyn Nets, 111-97. They struggled on the defensive end of the court, as they allowed the Nets to shoot 52.6% from the field. They will have to contest more shots if they want to take down the Clippers at home. Looking at the betting trends, the Clippers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five road games and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a winning record. The Trail Blazers are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a winning record, 11-24 against the spread in their last 35 games following a loss, and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 6-2 in the last eight meetings in Portland, and the Clippers are 8-2 against the spread in the last 10 meetings overall. The Clippers are going to be shorthanded once again as John Wall, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard have all been ruled out while the Trail Blazers are still missing Damian Lillard and Keon Johnson. The Clippers have been playing much of the year without two of their best players and two of the best players in the Western Conference. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard will miss this game against Portland, but the Clippers have managed to stay afloat without them. Entering this game, they are 12-9 and in a good position for when their stars get back in the lineup. After going 27-55 last season, the Blazers are 11-8 and playing well even without their best player in the lineup for much of the year. Lillard will also miss this game, and the Clippers supporting cast has the upper hand here without the stars in the lineup. They have owned Portland over the last four years, winning nine of their last ten games. The Clippers come into this game as the team in better form and they will be full of confidence after blowing past the Pacers on Sunday thanks to a monster game from Zubac. This looks like an ideal spot for the Trail Blazers to beat a vulnerable Clippers outfit, but they've lost five of their last six games, while the Clippers have continued to win despite all the injuries. I get why the Trail Blazers have opened as favorites at home, but I'll stick with the banged-up Clippers to get the job done in this spot. So the Los Angeles Clippers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Los Angeles Clippers got a massive contribution from Ivica Zubac in a 114-100 win at home over the Indiana Pacers. He had the best game of his six-year NBA career, finishing with 31 points and 29 rebounds. He was going up against the likes of Miles Turner and an extremely soft Indiana Pacers front line. He lines up against Joseph Nurkic here, and it is safe to say he will not have the same success Tuesday. Portland is 28th in pace, and without Lillard in the lineup, this game will feature a more defensive-centric approach. The total number has gone under in 15 of Los Angeles' last 19 games facing Western Conference foes. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.